Classical music fans, masked and vaccinated, are returning to the concert hall in Lincoln, Nebraska. In spite of high winds and cold temperatures, about 800 patrons showed up to hear a favorite local artist and Lincoln Symphony Orchestra. Before the program began, the symphony's executive director, Barbara Zach Lee, thanked those who supported the symphony during the height of the pandemic. She noted that the musicians maintained their salaries throughout the past 18 months, thanks to the financial support of the community. She then welcomed members of the LSO and its music director, Ed Polochek, to the stage to begin a challenging program that featured two works by one of the world's most admired composers and another by an underappreciated one. Bach composed the Brandenburg Concertos between 1719 and 1720. As a whole they are wonderful examples of the Baroque concerto with colorful instrumentation and music that is technically demanding. The Brandenburg Concerto No. 3 features three violins, three violas, three cellos, and bass. Maestro Polochek played the continuo on the harpsichord and also conducted. The second and third movements are marked adagio and allegro respectively. While there is no tempo mark for the first movement it is usually played as an allegro and it is dominated by fast notes played by all three sections of the small ensemble. Throughout this performance, the violins had some difficulty with accuracy, including intonation and ensemble. In addition, they sounded thin and a bit steely. Throughout, more nuanced dynamics would have added to the overall power of the performance. The Brandenburg Concerto No. 1 followed. The first movement is usually played as an allegro, followed by the second movement adagio, the third movement allegro, and the fourth movement minuet. This concerto is for a larger ensemble, including horns, oboes, and bassoon. The horns were noticeably loud and had intonation issues throughout. This may have been exaggerated by the horn's bells facing the rear of the lead center stage and the sound reflecting off the orchestral shell, but whatever the reason, the delicate balances characterizing Bach's work were missing. Conductor Polochik again conducted from the harpsichord. The second work on the program was Kurt Atterberg's Cello Concerto, composed in 1924. Sweden-born Atterberg was famous in his home country, and his music was frequently performed, but by his death in 1974 his neo-romantic style fell out of favor. The composer also worked as an engineer throughout his career. There was, during his lifetime, issue raised as to whether Atterberg was a Nazi sympathizer, and his writings reflect some anti-Semitism. After World War II, Atterberg asked the Swedish Royal Academy of Music to set up an inquiry to exonerate him. Unfortunately, they could never refute or confirm his sympathies. Atterberg's music is rarely performed in U.S.-based concert halls, so kudos to Lincoln Symphony for tackling his music. The soloist for the sprawling cello concerto was local favorite, Karen Becker, who is the LSO's principal cello. Atterberg himself was a cellist, and the concerto showcases his intimate understanding of the sound of the instrument and its potential. The concerto has three movements that are played without a break. The first movement opens with an andante cantabile, where Becker's performance called attention to her skill and sensitivity. The music is lush and tonal, but throughout its length, doesn't have particularly memorable melodies. The concerto rambles and moves along rather episodically. Unless there is clear vision for the overall arc of the music, it can become bogged down in the moment, which was the case here. The horns also were loud, overpowering even the soloist. Further, they had intonation issues. Ms. Becker received multiple deserved curtain calls at the conclusion of the work. Maestro Polochik and the LSO musicians shared in the exuberant applause. This was a challenging evening of both popular and relatively unknown music. Lincoln Symphony and Maestro Polochik deserve congratulations for tackling this program.
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and turn on notifications.